Urgent News Medjugorje and Israel The Virgin Mary warned, Dear brothers and sisters, an unprecedented call has taken place in Medjugorje. In more than 40 years of apparitions, Our Lady Queen of Peace has never issued such an intense call as now. She asked for nine days of prayer on the hill where she first appeared, Apparition Hill. During these nine days, Our Lady appeared and prayed fervently for world peace in her mother tongue, Aramaic. Imagine the power of that prayer, Our Lady's heart beating for peace for us all. In the north of Israel, in the city where Mary was born, the situation is getting worse. Remember the song, Mary of Nazareth. It is precisely in this region where Jesus and the Virgin Mary lived, that we see conflicts intensifying. My dear brothers and sisters, nothing that happens in Medjugorje is a coincidence. Each event has a profound and divine meaning. Our Lady revealed to the seer Vika that she would have to suffer a lot for the conversion of sinners. Vika accepts this suffering with love, because it is part of God's plan. Her sacrifice, my brothers and sisters, is a testimony of faith and dedication that inspires us to remain steadfast in prayer and in the search for peace. If Our Lady only sent Maria Pavlovich and Ivan, it is because the other seers have specific missions that they fulfill in silence, in prayer. They are responding to Our Lady's request to intercede for this intention. If necessary, Our Lady will summon all six seers, but I don't think it will be necessary. Maria Pavlovich and Ivan are in charge of calling people to this crucial moment. Thousands of pilgrims from all over the world are coming to Medjugorje to fulfill Our Lady Queen of Peace's request. The fervor and devotion are palpable. However, many are fearful, saying that this could trigger a third apocalyptic war. The tension is growing because we know that another country is sending soldiers to Lebanon, and many other countries are joining this cause. My brothers, the situation is serious. Many innocent people will pay the price of violence and despair, all because many of those who believe are not listening to Our Lady's call. This is a time of great trial, where faith and prayer are our greatest weapons. We need to unite, heed Our Lady's call and pray for world peace. This is a time of reflection and action, where every prayer counts, every gesture of faith makes a difference. In an intense way, Our Lady is not calling just one or two people, nor just the seers. They are not the saviors of the country or the world. They are messengers. They join us to strengthen us, to give us the certainty that the Blessed Mother is here, praying with us, present in our lives. Our Lady needs our help. What has happened in Medjugorje over these nine days cannot stop. We have to continue this mission in our lives, in our homes, in our families. It's a call to all of us to keep the flame of faith and prayer alive. Each of us has an important role to play. Our Lady is showing us the way, but it's up to us to follow it with determination and love. Imagine the power of thousands of people united in prayer, each in their own home, creating a network of faith and hope that spreads around the world. We cannot underestimate the impact of our daily actions. We need to pray, reflect and act with an open heart, welcoming Our Lady's request. This is not just a message for the seers, but for each one of us. It is an invitation to a life of greater devotion, of commitment to peace and love. Let's transform our routines, our interactions, our thoughts and attitudes. Let's make our lives a living testimony to Our Lady's love and the power of prayer. In every gesture, in every prayer, we are contributing to a better world, a world where peace can finally prevail. Our Lady is with us, but she needs our collaboration, our unwavering faith. Together we can make a difference. Together we can keep the message of Medjugorje alive and spread it to every corner of the world. It's fascinating to observe how, in every apparition, when Our Lady says goodbye and begins to ascend, the eyes of the seers follow her. 
They follow her movement, looking upwards, as if they were connected to her in a profound and spiritual way. In each video you can see the intensity of this moment. The seers, immersed in prayer and contemplation, are visibly moved. It's as if their eyes reflect the light and divine presence of Our Lady. They don't just see her, they feel her presence, and this is clearly manifested in the way their gazes follow her as she ascends to heaven. I invite you to observe these details carefully. Notice the softness and reverence in the seer's gestures, the way their faces light up, as if they were enveloped in a heavenly aura. It is a moment of pure devotion, a testimony of faith that inspires and strengthens us. This visual connection, this act of accompanying Our Lady with our eyes, is a powerful symbol of our own spiritual journey. Like the seers, we are called to raise our gazes, our hearts and our souls on high, always seeking divine presence and guidance. Watch the videos with an open heart, allowing yourself to be touched by this sublime experience. May each of us feel a little of this divine presence, this peace and this light that the seers experience in each apparition. May we learn to look upwards, to follow in Our Lady's footsteps with faith and hope, knowing that she is always with us, guiding and protecting us. Dear brothers and sisters, it is of the utmost importance that you share this video with as many people as possible. Through you, more hearts can be touched and more souls awaken to faith. By sharing, you help spread Our Lady's messages, her urgent requests for the world. Our Heavenly Mother is counting on each one of us to take her message of peace and love to every corner of the earth. In advance, I would like to thank everyone who has been part of this faithful army of the Virgin Mary. Your dedication and faith are inspiring. Together we can make a difference, bring Our Lady's message to more and more people and contribute to a more peaceful and loving world. May God bless each one of you and may Our Lady continue to guide our steps. You can be sure, dear brothers and sisters, that by praying the Rosary, living the Word of God and participating in the sacraments, we will overcome all the battles that present themselves in our lives. However, we live in a time when, as Our Lady herself said, peace in the world is seriously threatened. There is an urgent call for more people to unite in prayer, for more souls to be converted, for more sacrifice and penance for an extraordinary intention. Peace in our hearts, in our families and in the world depends on our response to this divine call. We need to intensify our prayers and dedicate ourselves more fervently to the cause of peace. Every Hail Mary, every act of penance, every gesture of conversion has immeasurable value at this crucial time. May God bless all of you for your prayers and sacrifices. Our Lady is with us, guiding and inspiring us at every step. Observe, dear brothers and sisters, the gaze of the seers when Our Lady is leaving. They follow her movement with total synchrony, their eyes rising as she ascends. It's something truly impressive and full of spiritual meaning. This gesture reminds us of the importance of elevating our hearts and minds, of keeping our gaze fixed on heaven, always seeking divine guidance. Accompanying Our Lady with our gaze and our prayers is an act of faith that strengthens our soul and brings us even closer to God. So let's continue to be united in prayer, strengthening our faith and contributing to peace. May each of us be an instrument of love and peace, responding to Our Lady's call with all our heart. And may this dedication and devotion bear fruits of peace and blessings for all of us and for the whole world. Dear brothers and sisters, I urge you to share this video with as many people as possible. It is essential that more hearts are touched and more souls awaken to the truth that Our Lady is in Medjugorje. Her call is urgent, a desperate call for peace in a world facing so much turmoil and conflict. Every share is an act of faith and love, a way of helping to spread this divine message. Our Lady is asking us to be her messengers, to take her message of peace to every corner of the world. This is a crucial moment, and each of us has an important role to play. 
May God bless all of you for your support and for being part of this sacred mission. By sharing this video, you are not only helping to spread Our Lady's message, but also inspiring others to unite in prayer and devotion. Please leave your comments below. Your words and testimonies are valuable and can touch many lives. Let's create a chain of faith and hope, showing the world that there is still room for peace and divine love. May each of you feel Our Lady's presence and protection in your lives. Together, we can make a difference by responding to her call with courage and determination. May God enlighten our paths and strengthen us on this journey of faith. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.